Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, continues to facilitate strategic investments in the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Additional ground assets, including bicycles and motor vehicles, were officially handed over to the High Command of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. I pledged to give the police all the resources that the country's fiscal position can afford at the time. Yesterday, in the Parliament, I disclosed that $117 million will be spent next year on the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. The, the details of that expenditure will be outlined in the policy speech on the, 20, on the last Tuesday in April. So today is just the first installment of resources that the police will get. And I can assure you, the police will get the necessary resources needed. In under two years, the Prime Minister and Minister for National Security has allocated millions of dollars to bolster the tactical and operational capacity of St. Lucia's chief security agency. Commissioner of Police, Crusita Descart Pelius, formally accepted the Prime Minister's latest offering that will further strengthen mobile patrols and also improve police response times. This will be used to assist us in our crime-fighting strategies. In as much as we are happy to have these to assist in our crime-fighting strategies, these can also be used, especially the truck, as in times of disaster. So I'm indeed very grateful and I would like to thank the Honourable Prime Minister for continuing in supporting us. Dozens of land patrol units have been handed over to the police force since July 2021. The training vote has been replenished, which will allow law enforcement officers to regain access to crucial capacity building training programs. Prime Minister Pierre has billed the 2023-2024 fiscal year as the year of national security. 177.1 million EC dollars has been allocated toward the national security budget. More than 35 million EC dollars has been committed to erecting new physical infrastructure for administrative purposes. Construction of the Northern Divisional Headquarters in Groselay, a project delayed by more than five years, and the reconstruction of the Vefor police station are both scheduled to commence in 2023. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.